Okay, so in this problem we're finding the class midpoints. Class midpoints are the midpoints of the classes. Each class midpoint can be found by adding the lower class limit to the upper class limit and dividing the sum by 2. So I just want to point out a couple of important things here. I've done two of the class midpoints already just to speed along the process, but what class midpoints are is they're essentially the average of the classes. So we're trying to find one number that's in the middle of the class that can be used to represent the classes. And the way we do that is we basically average the class limits. So we'll add the lower class limit to the upper class limit and divide by 2. That's how I produced this answer and this answer. Let's do this one together. So we're going to add 0 0.60. We'll take 0 0.60 and we'll add that to 0.63. And then we will divide the sum by 2. And we get the answer 0.615. So that'll be our third class midpoint, 0 0.615. Okay, so that's our third class midpoint. And we would continue on down the line doing that. Let's just do one more together. So we'll have 0 0.64 added to 0 0.67, and then we divide the sum by 2. All right, when we're done, we get 0 0.655. So 0 0.655. So I want to show you something else that um, will help you find these class midpoints a little easier once you know a certain definition. We're going to cover that definition in another video, but the definition is for class width. So the class width is the difference between any two consecutive lower class limits or any two consecutive upper class limits. So consecutive means one after the other, and if you take the difference between two lower class limits like that, so we were to subtract 0.56 and 0.52, the difference between those is 0 0.04. You'll notice if you add 0 0.04 to this first class midpoint, you get the next class midpoint, right? 0 0.04 added to 0.535 gives you 0.575. And the same thing for the next one and the same thing for the next one. If I add 0.04 to 0.615, I'll get 0.655. What would happen if I added 0 0.04 to this? I would get 0 0.695 if I added 0.04, right? Let's add 0.04 to the last one and see what we get. So if we took, so our last midpoint was 0.695, so we do 0.695, if we add 0.04, we're going to get the right answer, 0.735, and the reason why I say that's the right answer is because if I check that, 0.72 plus 0.75, and then I divide that by 2, I of course get 0.735, so we see we get the same answer, so 0.735. All right, and then finally, the last way you could find the class midpoints is you could do the same procedure that we've been doing on the classes to the class boundaries, and they would still give you the class midpoint. Let's do that for the last one. If I took 0.755 and added to that 0.795, and then I divided that by 2, you would see I get 0.775, and that's the same answer you get here if you do the same arithmetic we've been doing. So 0 0.775. You could also confirm that 0.04, the class width that we described, that difference between those two numbers, added to this number gives you 0.775. So there's at least three ways to find the class midpoints, and essentially um, any one of them is perfectly suitable.